Welcome, Stick Volley fans, to the Season 4 Championship. I'm here joined by Tim. Thank you for having me here on this very big game. Yeah, this is a huge game, but before the game gets started, we have two special guest celebrities with us. We have Ryan, a big fan and celebrity. He's a big fan of Miami Majestic Turtle Chumps, and Larry, who's a big fan of the Phoenix Peacocks. But uh, before we get down to the game, let's... uh. Let's do some predictions. So, uh, Ryan, what do you think uh, is going to be the out outcome tonight? Well, my team has been playing fantastic, and I think they're going to win 2-0 tonight. They just shut out the peacock or the clownfish, and they're going to shut out the peacocks. Ah, what a prediction from you, uh, Larry. What do you think? So, I've really seen that the Phoenix Peacocks are playing great now. Like everybody on their team has at least one point, which that's great. Victor Wilson, Zach Goodwin, they are carrying the team. I think Phoenix Peacocks will sweep in this series. Oh, so two sweeps. Okay. Both coming from big fans of, of the teams. Uh, so, Tim, what do you what do you think is going gonna, is gonna to come I'm out I'm going to say, oh, sorry, but I think it's going to be a very interesting three-game split where Miami comes out on top, but it's going to be 3-2 in that game three. Yeah, I think this game is going to be the best playoff game possibly ever. This game, I think, could, could go to three sets, and I think it's going to be a battle of goalies and attackers this game. I think both of both sides are going to be very heavy on the goalies and attackers. But uh, that's we can't talk about it anymore. Let's uh, let's get down to the Actually, court. Actually, wait. Oh, what's I'm sorry that? for interrupting. No, but in. Both of these teams have won won a title. So they are very like they're not having the kind of like nerve that most first team when teams usually go to finals for their first time. Yeah, that is true. And Mid Miami Majestic Total Chumps were here last season, so they've been here recently and they're ready for that repeat. They could be the first team to repeat, but we don't have much more to say. So let's head down to the court and see who our second champion is gonna be. And here we are for the first game of the final for season four. This is going to be a great game, I think. Both sides here looking to get their second championship within the past three seasons. So this is going to be a this going to be a tight one. We're going to be starting the back here with Victor Wilson. Donald Barnes gets a shot, and it just goes over the bar. I think this game is going to be decided with these attackers, two elite attackers in the league and goalies, both of them have made their mark in this league. That's coming up to Gus Grimm a hard shot into Kyrie Burnett. Donald Barnes gets a touch. It's coming up in the air. Back down to the defense of the Peacocks. Here's Keith King looking for his third title in four seasons. That is something that is very impressive. He actually, when he played with Metro Madness season one, I don't think he had any idea <gasps> that any... Donald Barnes! I'm sorry to interrupt, but Donald Barnes getting another goal this, this postseason. What in the world? This guy is just trying to make a mark in this league. What a... He is... Oh, he you... is on a run this postseason. Yeah, he cu he's coming off a hat-trick. Zach Goodwin coming off two hat-tricks. But they both have six goals in this offseason. And that's it backwards! That's a goal! We're all tied up at ones! And that and the majestic turtle chumps making a defensive error. Something they don't do much of. Gus Graham is really hard off his defense though. That's coming down. To the defense, Edgar Novak and Keith King with the shot! Gus Graham cannot get a touch! And it's two to one Peacocks! Wow! What a what a That was an unlucky bounce that Gus Graham had to hit and it just went straight into his goal. Yeah, Peacocks, this game is already going by fast, and that's a defensive error, but it just touched up. Gus Grimm with a beautiful save. It's come back now towards his goal. Can he get in? He can. That's the game. Peacocks win 3-2. to two. Or 3-1 to one in the first game of the Season 4 Final. What a game that was. Donald Barnes getting the early goal, and the Peacocks 
just forcing those defensive errors. But that's uh, that's going to conclude the first game. We have the second game now coming up. Peacocks will be away. Majestic Turtle Times will be home. Let's head down to that game right now. Are you tired of pizza? We have Pizza Barn, Hut Pizza, and even pizza in a pizza, next to a pizza, below a pizza. Now we have a variety as you come on to Dockside Seafood Restaurant. You can see food, but now you can eat seafood. We have lobster, salmon, cod, clownfish, crab, shrimp, flounder, and many more. Table for one. Could I have a seared salmon with a side of mashed potatoes, please? Mmm, very good. Is that a bird? Is that a plane? Oh uh, no, it actually was a bird. Wait, how, how did you know it was a bird? Where'd that bird come from? That's not your bird. No, no, no it, it was a bird. It flew down. It, it's a real bird. This is my bird now. Do you want a bird? Like my bird? Well, if you do, get yourself a bag of bird potato chips. Only the most potato chips around town. They have birds on them. That's how good. That's where this bird came from because he wanted some of uh, my big bag of bird potato chips. There's big bag and small bag and another big bag if you want to if you want two big bags. There's a deluxe. Uh yeah. But where this bag of potato chips come from and how is it floating above our head? Well, you see uh uh it, it, it's being held up right now by lots of cables. You know? Get your bird potato chips today in local stores and online at www.birdpotatochips.com. And here we are for the second game of the final. That was a very fast game that we just saw. Peacocks end up just taking that one off two defensive errors. Donald Barnes got an early goal and couldn't get things going. And uh, Donald Barnes now hey it is Edgar Novak. What are your thoughts about last game? Last game's performance by both sides, Tim. Now, that might have been one of the quickest playoff games I've ever seen. It's either that or that um, game three we saw with the Peacocks versus the Grounders where <gasps> Silas scored. No! That hit the corner of the goal! Majestic Turtle Chimps getting super unlucky right now. There's a little ledge at the corner of the goals that the ball can hit and come back in, and it just barely get, got that. And it's hit backwards, though! Can Gus Graham get it? And he can! What a save! It's come back down towards his goal, though! Can Gus Graham get this? And he does! Gus Graham! What the? Gus Graham! Oh! Oh! I saved it. Okay. But what a save by Gus Graham! I think that was one of the craziest saves we've ever seen. That hit the court, like the bar, at the right spot, and then he got that extra touch coming down. What a play by Gus Graham. Here's Gus Graham with the shot now. That one just goes out of play. We're in the back now with Victor Wilson. Look for a second championship here. They're two goals away. Donald Barnes gets a touch. And that one goes out of play. Can't count out the, the Majestic Turtle Trumps though. They have a great defense, a good goalie, and a good attacker. But the Peacocks here trying to close this one. That's hit off of uh, their defender four. There's that goal. It's too hard though. Coming back down towards his goal. And that one just goes out of play. Oh yeah, I think, I think uh, you got cut off on that last, uh, the last time you were talking with that goal, with the save. I mean, uh, what were, um, what were you saying about the games before this last game? I was just saying that that one was really fast. Where the grounders just that game probably took two minutes, which is that's really short. Yeah, that um, that first game was very short. Probably at under two minutes, but that Grounders game uh, last week against the Peacocks, I believe, was under 20, 10, 15 seconds, probably, somewhere around there. And both games just, playoffs, I guess, just is a really fast paced game. 
these that teams, is true. I think it's more so about the nerves that they get that they don't play much defense, so or they make defensive errors. And Donald Barnes getting a great shot. The nerves just get to them, and uh, they don't play much defense. But that's hit over to Benjamin Hartman and Curtis Callahan. Hartman having his second All Star. It was second team, not first team though, but two seasons in a row he's made All-Star. There's Curtis Callahan. Oh, that's hit off of Callahan. And it's just going out of play. Actually, there is something I actually find very interesting about Stick Folly, and that is that a game could last anywhere from 15 seconds to like 15 minutes. Yeah, at week 7 we saw some very long games. Uh, the Metro Madness Grenadier game and uh, that Lobsterback game both were very long. I think one of them was about 10 minutes. But this ball stops on the car on the corner of the bar. It's bouncing. It's gonna hit the corner and just go in. Majestic Telescope's tied the game. We are at ones. But yeah, as I was saying, that that one I think it was the the Metro game lasted almost 10 minutes, which is I think the longest game. In Stick Valley history, and then the Lobsterback game that same week was, I think, around eight minutes, seven minutes. So yeah, it's pretty crazy. That's it back though to Kyrie, who hits it off of Victor Wilson. Now it's coming up to the attackers. Zach Owen gets a hit backwards. It's coming to Victor Wilson, who hits it up. Luke Shepard trying to get a hit. He's a All Star this season. First team All Star. He hits it over. Luke Shepard. Almost getting a goal. Gus Graham hits it off his D4. Coming up to Donald Barnes who gets a touch. And it, that was a good touch actually. But not hard enough. It's hit backwards. To Kyrie Burnett. Who has a laser for shine to Gus Graham. Gus Graham hits it off of uh, Benjamin Hartman into Zach Goodwin now. Zach Goodwin getting some shots off the wall. Kai Stewart. Gus Graham getting more shots off of Hartman. Donald Barnes. Can he get a touch? And he does. Into Kyrie Burnett who hits into Luke Shepard. That's hit backwards now. It has spin. Kyrie. Can he get a touch? And he does. Hits it off the wall. Into the net. Slowing it down. Coming down to Majestic's defense. That is the D4. And it's just going to come back down to Luke Shepard. Down to Barnes with the shot. Kyrie with the great shot. It's going to hit the bar and go out. What a play by both sides here. Wow. There's Callahan now into Zach Goodwin. Just going to get that one out of play. Yeah, we're going to be starting the back now with Victor Wilson. Oh, Edgar Novak! Wow! Edgar Novak! What a goal! Peacocks are at match point. This is act. Uh, this is crazy. Both of us predicted a, th a three-game series, and it, it could happen. But so far, Peacocks are at match point. This could be the game, and that's the game. Oh. Peacocks are your season four champion. That was a very fast final. Both games, three to one, Peacocks. Wow. Wow. Congratulations to your season four champions, Phoenix Peacocks. Yeah. Congrats to them. They're going to be getting their second banner of Stick Volley. Man. Larry must be really happy right now. Yeah, Larry, uh, huge fan. He's a comedian, and he's, uh, he's probably very happy about, about this. But what a game. Both games fairly close. Peacocks taking both games 3-1. to one. I don't think many predicted that. I know we didn't. But what a series. Uh, and that, that's going to conclude. Congrats to the Peacocks getting their second championship in, four, in, two, in three seasons of Stick Volley. And that's going to conclude this. Let's head down to that recap before we close things out. Actually, wait, we'll go into the press conference and then the recap. Hey, Zach, this is uh, Phil from SweetVictory.com. Uh, how does it feel to be a two-time champion? Thank you for asking that. That is, it feels amazing. After winning two out of the past four years, I am beyond happy. There's nothing like it. We work as a family, we win as a team, we lose as a team. But this year, we really stepped up to the plate and hit a home run. You, um, you got, you've been super consistent these past couple seasons, and over the seasons, we've seen you develop as a leader on this team. 
what are what are the future plans do you think for for you and the teammates future plans i'm thinking that good thing for us to do is um first of all just to celebrate tonight and then look into it in the off season we'll pick up some guys in the draft class and yeah beyond that we'll just have those new rookies learn from us Hey Edgar, this is uh Gerald from SSN. Uh your goal in that last in that second game was really the the tide and the real game changer that, that brought you guys that win. Do you did you feel that on the court when you were playing? Like that goal really changed the momentum? Actually not really because I feel like you just gotta take the game one goal by at a time. Like you could be up 2-1 at one point, but all you know, you could be down 2-3 and losing the game. So, it felt great that I scored that goal, but you're never perfectly sure of what will happen in Stick Folly. And that is it for Season 4. Congratulations to the Peacocks for winning their second championships in the past three seasons that they've been in the league. Also, don't forget to stay around because after this video... There will be a special, short short but special video coming up soon on the channel. But let's look at these games real quick. Majestic Turtle Trumps and Peacocks in the first game battled it out. It wasn't a long game though. Peacocks ended up taking that game. And I think that game and the second game both were decided by the defense. Peacocks defense played out of their minds. Keith King and Edgar Novak just, they, they went crazy tonight and they proved why they're elite defenders and Keith King getting three his third championship in the past four seasons now that's just he's the first player to do it that is just incredible out of four seasons he has three of the ch championships fantastic I think if I were to give someone the MVP of tonight it would be him he played phenomenal he had goals assists and he just played phenomenal but that's gonna conclude season four and the Peacocks have won it, but we'll see you for Season 5 very soon.